Hey guys, what's up and welcome to iCode. Well, in this video, I'm going to be introducing you to a framework called Swift Soup. So, Swift Soup is a framework used to parse HTML and get text content for a particular tag, something like HTML tag, body tag, or paragraph tag. So, let me just show you how to work with Swift Soup framework. So, let's get started. So, open up Xcode. So, Xcode, go to File, New Project. And we're going to be working with single view application. So tap on next and the product name is HTML parser, something like that. So HTML parser and save this on desktop. Now, let me just close this project and navigate to terminal. And now we need to navigate to our project. So to initialize a part file, so CD desktop and now CD HTML parser. So ls and now you can see that I've got two files and now you need to initialize part file. So pod init. If you type in ls you can see that the part file is now initialized. Open the part file using nano text editor. So nano part file. And here you need to add some parts. So to get the framework swift soup. So let me just navigate to the git repository for Swift Soup. So this is the page. I'll add up this link in description. So take that out. And now if you see here, you need to add this particular line. So part Swift Soup. So copy this, go to this file and let me just paste this right here. So to save this type control X, Y and enter. And now you need to do part install. And as you can see, the part is now installed. Here, if you can see, it told us, please close any current Xcode sessions and use HTML parser.xc workspace from now. So let me just close this, open the project folder. And now, as you can see, we have got a new file. This is the file that we need to work from now. This is not the one. So open this file. And now here you can see that we have got the parts. So let me just go to view controller.swift. And let me just build the project first so that we can know if there is any error in importing this particular Swift Soup framework. So let me just build this. So now, as you can see, the build succeeded. We can now import Swift Soup into our project. So let me just import Swift Soup. So import Swift Soup. Now, let's go to view did load function and get some HTML content so that we can work with that. So let HTML content so content is equal to so I've already made some HTML content so let me just paste that here so as you can see this is the HTML content that we are going to work with it has got a head tag a title tag and also two h1 tags so now we have got our HTML content so that we can work with that and now let me just show you how to get the text content for a particular tag using Swift Soup framework so First, we need to parse our HTML. So let me just parse it. So let doc is equal to Swift Soup dot parse HTML. And here we need to use do catch. So parse HTML and this is nothing but HTML content. And here we need to use do and catch. So do and a catch. And now we need to add try. So try and there you go. We got rid of all the errors. So as now we have parsed the HTML content, now we need to select a particular element so that we can get the text element of that particular element. So let us just get a particular element. So let, for now, let me just go to the title element. So element is equal to doc dot select. And now here we need to add a string that is a tag. That is, we are going to get the text content for the title tag so type in title dot first that is the first title tag as you can see there is only one title tag so we're going to get the text content of this particular title tag that is i code and now we need to add do catch for this particular line as well so let me just type in do and a catch so catch great now that we have got the element we need to get the text for that particular element so let me just type in let let text equal to element 
dot text as you can see we need to add do catch for this particular line as well so let me just add that so do and the catch and we need to add try here so try great so let's just print the text content for that particular title tag and see if that worked or not so print text and let me just run this on iPhone 5s great it worked guys we have got the text content of that particular title tag that is I code yes it worked now let me just make this body and see if we can get the text content of body so body and let me just run the same code on iPhone 5s again and there you go we got the content of the body tag as well that is iCode is great channel of course with a lot of tutorials Swift programming channels Swift programming channel that is all the text inside this body tag even this text is inside the body tag so that is why we got the entire text content of the entire body tag great now let's just get the text content of h1 now you may be wondering that we have two h1 tags here so how can we get the text content of the two h1 tags as you may ask we are getting the text content of only the first element which has a tag h1 so for that what you need to do is you need to replace this particular first with array so array so that you can get all the text as array so basically this is one array element now and this is another array element so let me just change this particular text content so that you can differentiate it so ethical hacking yes i code has ethical hacking tutorials too if you're interested great as now we have got an array you need to select the particular element so now let me just select the second one that is with array indexed one so now one and now if you run this you'll be getting the text content of second h1 tag so let me just run this and see if it is working great it worked guys we got the text content of second h1 tag so let's see if this is working with the first one as well so go to zero and now if you just run this again again and now if you can see we have got the text content of the first h1 tag great so this is how you work with swift Soup framework to pass html and get text content of a particular tag so thanks for watching this video if you have any doubt in any part of this video just comment down below and i'll respond to you as fast as i can and if you want me to upload any video on any particular topic you can comment down below as well so Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and I'll be back with another awesome iOS Swift 3 video. Till then, goodbye.